Fight Hustler here. E-Money here. Today, I suspect an amazing garage sale day. We're gonna make some good money buying and reselling used things from garage sales. And you're gonna come with us and learn how to do it. It'll still get us there, it'll be pretty quick. Ghost story. Wow, the mayhem that is here. You can't even see half the goods. I can't even see half the stuff that's here. I see the Bob Stroller. I see a Bob Stroller, we have to go get it. You All can't right. even see my face, but here we go, let's go. We call this stuff cheddar. Um, right here we have a double Bob Stroller, we bought it for 60 bucks. Resale this thing's probably about 250 locally, so sweet. Check it out, there's the stroller right there. Ooh. Bob Stroller. Ooh. All right, we're good to go. So yeah, first score of the morning was really, really good. Welcome to my channel. I'm the Bonafide Hustler, and this is my brother E Money. Yo. And today we are going to garage sales. We're making money by buying and reselling used things, flipping it online, or using online things to flip it. So, anyways, that that's a Bob Stroller right there. It's a dually. It's called a dually. Uh, it can sit two little booger heads, and. That should sell locally for around 250 or so, something like that. I think the worst case scenario would be 200 bucks. So that's one of the ways you can make money super quick, like right there, our local flips. Um, now that the sun is out, or now that the light is starting to come into the picture, we're actually gonna drop this stroller off at E-Money's house. Next garage sale is somewhere around here. It's over there. So that's where we're going. And we just found out that our neighborhood, which is this one, is having neighborhood-wide garage sales, which means a bunch of houses get together and kind of do their thing. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here already. Right? Blackburn trainer. All right, so we're gonna go check this one out, and uh, we'll show you what we guys. We'll show you guys what we find. I don't think we're gonna find anything here, but there's gonna be a bunch in this neighborhood. We're gonna have some good time for sure. Okay, so we just came from a garage sale back there. E Money popped on this Ultima, old yeah. school uh, game. 48k. Cool. So you're only about 35, 35 bucks, and you paid a dollar for that. Dollar. Yeah, I'm gonna send that one to FBA Amazon. I bought a bike back there that's uh, 15 bucks. Probably gonna sell that locally for. I'm not gonna mess with it too much because it doesn't have crazy, crazy resale. But I don't know, it's somewhere like 60 or 80 bucks, so it should be pretty good. I'm only, all I'm gonna do is like air up the tires. If the air, if the tires don't hold air, whatever, uh, I'm not even gonna fix it or anything. I'm just gonna kind of spot clean it, and that's about it. So, all right. So there are neighborhood wide garage. There's a neighborhood wide garage sale in this neighborhood, which is my neighborhood. So we're gonna go find more stuff to sell. And the best thing about it is, since my house is close, I can do a pit stop and drop some stuff off. All right. There's a garage sale this way. And we're gonna try to find it. Oh yeah, there's one up here. I'm looking for everything, man. eBay stuff, Amazon stuff, antique booth stuff, everything. So, you know, never know what you're gonna find at garage sales. This is what makes it so much fun. So here's one right here. It's kind of like what you get to see, a bunch of boxes and stuff. And I'm gonna probably come out of this one, take a look. All right, so uh, from this garage sale, we got a Vitamix for uh, 15 bucks. It looks like it's used like one or two times. Anyways. Vitamix, probably the industry standard when it comes to blenders. Here's the book. Shake weight? No, I'm trying to see no. like, can it can it blend up the the cheese? Can it blend the oh cheese? yeah, we're shredding up the cheddar today, we're baby. Shredding. Anyway, so uh, reselling this TBD, but probably in the 150 range, something like that. So $15 on it. Another garage sale. My brother popped on this Lexmark toner ink cartridge. We just scanned it up. 128 on Amazon with 130 rank in office products. And yeah, we paid three like bucks 148, for it. Something like 148. that. 148, okay, so we paid three dollars for it. And there it goes into the car. Next garage sale is coming right up. Garage sale right there. I bought this, it's probably got resale of about 80 bucks. This uh, RC cart, it's really hard to find one. Anyways, I spent five bucks on it. We got like video game mega hall over yeah. here. All kinds of SNES stuff, there's yeah. so much stuff here. I spent 50 bucks on everything, plus the SNES unit. All stuff. More stuff, Tiger Games. Look at that, Double Dragon right there. More games and NES and all that stuff. SNES Game Genie, everything, 50 bucks. And this has got definitely good resale, uh, probably sure. in the 200, 300 category, something like that. We have three or four WrestleMania ones, or uh, Rumble ones, or Raw ones. So we're gonna be lighting those up as wrestling ones. A Double Dragon LCD Tiger Game, dang. But it's only 8.50, we're listening to some Firehouse. 
Come on, do we get any points for listening to some Firehouse? Do you even know what Firehouse is? Man. No. Don't. You don't know? No. Oh my gosh. Guys, go ahead and rip on this dude. That's cool with me. Like, go ahead and rip on him. Next. There's some resellers in transit behind us. Oh no. Let the T turn left. Go. Okay. Okay. So our next garage sale is sitting over there. Eh, it's got a lot of stuff. Okay. A lot of things. Let's stop at this one because this one looks somewhat interesting. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, there's a rack in the back. There's a what? Yeah. A rack. Oh, I see a rack in the back too. Cool. Interesting. Let's go check it out. So a couple of nerd games. Yeah, man. I found some you know nerd games. We call them nerd games. They're usually make Mensa type games. You can. They're made by you know companies like Buffalo, Mendocino. Uh, what's another one? Real Grand Games. Like all these other. You know they build these really strategic, high thought. How do I? These games that include, I mean, they're, they're 30 or 45, sometimes an hour playing games. They require a lot of strategy. Anyway, so I'm, I want to play this. If any of you guys have ever played this game, uh, let me know. This looks really exciting, so I had to buy it. $250. Um, reselling this one's about 40 to 50 bucks, and this is called Pirateer. So I decided to get into this, but you might not. We're going to play this, right? This looks awesome. Dude. Yeah, we'll try it out. Look at the back of it, man. How many of you don't want to play this shit? Uh, yeah, I'm cool. That looks awesome, yep. right? Yeah. All right, cool. For a karate chop transition, here we go. No star wipes in this place. We're here. We've teleported. It's sunny, and we're at some weird, like, parking lot between fields. And it's like a neighborhood-wide garage sale, but it's just so weird looking. Look at this crap. I don't even know what to make of this. So I'm gonna park in the middle. I'll give you guys like the best vantage point of all time. But I don't even know. I don't know if we're looking at vendors. I don't know if we're looking at. Like potential real money here. There's got to be something in there. There's got to be something here, right? Okay, so for ten bucks at this garage, at this garage sale, kind of whatever it was, a Tumi laptop bag. Hell yeah, you know my bags, the bucks thing are coming out soon. Um, another Tumi kind of like document holder thing. So we, it's kind of like a trapper keeper, except for rich people. <laughs> Crap, I'm funny. Okay, and then uh, we have this kind of like document holder. Like if you're gonna, oh, there's something in it. A zipper well, extra money. I should do this when I'm home because morally if I find something really awesome in there I have to bring it back to it right yeah yeah I'm not gonna do it then yeah <laughs> there's something in there oh yeah for sure that's a Bitcoin just kidding that's something cool just kidding there's something in there anyways this stuff will probably sell for about one to 160 ish all three of them together probably lotted up and it's real to me it's like nice leather <laughs> for rich people the nerf sniper guns on the table oh shit get it Come on. get it all right, so I got a Nerf, a Nerf CS6 sniper. These go for about 45 to around 65 bucks. This one does not have the uh, the scope on it, but it doesn't matter. It's got important pieces. It's a nice gun. Uh, got it for five bucks. So I'm gonna take the. You know, when you get a sniper, you don't. You might be thinking like this thing is really long, so. You know, it's going to be a, you know what, to ship off, but you can take the barrel off like that, and now it becomes much shorter, just like this. So, you know, that's something to consider when you're getting into this gun. This one and a Nerf Vulcan is what you want to be looking for when you're hustling Nerf guns on eBay. So, there you go. All right, so in a bit of a pickle, really, you know, like when you uh, do Craigslist deals, I mean, like meeting up with people can get kind of tough, especially when you're meeting up with them, like... You're not at your location, they're not at their location. You have to meet somewhere in the middle. So I told this guy for this uh, bike that's back there, right? Uh, and I'll make like 60 bucks on this bike, nothing crazy. Um, that to meet me, you know, during my garage selling day. But it gets kind of hard because like, you know, what physical address are you going to be at? Because you're traveling all over the place. So decided to make my pit stop early at Taco Deli. There is an REI garage sale today, which I'm going to go check out right after this. So we're going to make a to-go order, hopefully sell this bike, and then go to the REI garage sale and then close my day out around 11 because I got some plans to do. Yeah, I got to get this bike sold now. And E-Money's giving me a dopio, <laughs> like a good brother should. <laughs> Give me a dopio. Get out of here and uh, just wait to talk with Billy. I'm going to wait for some cheddar and get some tacos. And that's come out of mine. Whoa, look at that. That was weird. All right, so we're going to have this dopio right now. Let's sit down with it. Yeah, this one it smells just tastes good. so good. It smells really good. Yeah. Oh, it does smell really good. Is it good? Ah! Whoa. Dang. That's pretty good. Ah! That's a good one. It's really good, actually. It's good. Ooh! Mmm! Ah! Man, that's good. 
That is good stuff. That's a good dope yo, man. Yeah. It's not that bitter though. No, it's super good though. Look at that. Well, if, you if you ain't down with dope yo crew, I don't know what crew you're with. That's the only crew to be a part of it right here. Cheddar and dope yos, that's what we're all about. Let's go traverse onto tacos. Yeah, let's go. We're right here. Wait. Thanks, dude. Salsa. Thanks, dude. All right. All right. We got salsa, tacos, watermelon juice. Oh, yeah. I just, uh, I uh, just did the Craigslist deal. They're over there putting the bike into a car. You can kind of see it. We've got the money right here. And uh, we're gonna go to REI right now and check out the garage sale. REI garage sale, look how big this thing is. Dang, that's what she said. We're gonna go in there. We'll show you what we find. I gotta blow my dividend today, which if you know the REI lingo, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so, uh, you know, looking around, the bikes are clearly gone, but there's all kinds of cool outdoors gear here and we can make some money on some of it or we could just buy it for personal use. Are you ready? You're pumped, aren't you? Dude, I just wanna get out of here right now. How was it? Oh man, it is so bright out here. It's brighter than a, a white turd, you know, like when they become dehydrated. Anyway, or, or these 510 Kestrels. I got a mint pair right here. I'm gonna probably sell these for about 100. I'm into them for 40. I got a pair for myself for 30. Uh, that's marked as it, it's being broken, but I tested it. It's not broken at all, actually. So, you know, I'm gonna wear a pair and I'm going to sell a pair. Super mint. And that's mint. what I'm saying. Dude, look at the Cheddar Weather shirt, bro. You know, some oh, people have bought this shirt. Many people have bought this shirt, which is really cool, man. They're on the bandwagon about the Cheddar Weather. I'm telling you, man. What's up, dude? Oh, what's up? What's going on? Also, double down on a Cirrus Bones 3. That one's 60, but I know exactly where the market sits out on that. So at the very minimum, I'll sell that one locally for 80, but I'm gonna ask 110 since it's never been used. It's a madhouse out there, I'm telling you, man. Like, it's crazy. The line was like 50 people deep, maybe 60 people deep. It was really crazy. But we're out of here. So, end of the hustling day. Fist bump. Day. That was awesome. We'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler video. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. Hit the like button, put a comment. I love reading comments. I can't get back to hey, all of them. How's but it? please, hold on, but please put a comment down below. Why are you look, what is this? You keep doing that in my videos. It's LaCroix. It's sponsored La by, La by LaCroix. By LaCroix. LaCroix. Ask the people there. It's LaCroix. But guys, is it LaCroix or LaCroix? Like W-A-H, LaCroix. It's freaking French, dude. Come on, man. Stop it. It's not French. Stop it! Your mom's not French. Wait a minute, that's my mom too. Hey, all right. Anyway, so it's good to see you guys. She's not. I'll see you on the next <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye!